G'day folks. Well, since I'm having trouble uploading edited videos and keeps trying to upload the one of the uh, flaming washing machine drum that I've got out there, I figured I'd do a one-shot wonder and just see how it works. Uh, at the moment I'm just looking at a uh, large Bosch alternator that Brad gave me to autopsy or play around with. It's out of a Mercedes-Benz Vito minivan and according to the ink stamp there it's made on the 4th of the 7th 2001 uh, he didn't say anything about this thing and I don't recall him ever working on a Mercedes-Benz Vito so I'm guessing one of his friends gave it to him but this thing is mint like it's spotless inside he seems to think the one-way clutch on the input shaft is faulty but I've tried blocking the impel blocking the rotor with the tip of a screwdriver and turning it and I can't get it to actually slip maybe it does it when it's hot I don't know, there's also splines on the inside too, so might even indicate direct drive for some applications. Which is kind of handy because this thing has parallel opposing mount holes and things. Like you could bolt this to a pedestal and actually direct drive it with an engine if you want to. It's one badass looking alternator. But apparently there was something wrong with it. You seem to think that the uh, drive was wrong with it. I even pulled the brushes out and you can still see little factory line marks on the tips of the brushes. This thing's barely done maybe five miles before it stopped. Like the brushes are new, the slip rings are new, they're very slight marks on the slip rings. There's alternators don't have brushes on them, they just have slip rings and they require an external DC charge to excite the windings and start making power. Because an alternator makes alternating current, unlike a generator which makes direct current. DC. Alternators actually put the alternating current through a series of rectifiers which are in here. It's a three phase bridge rectifier. Uh, full wave I believe. Uh, this is just a voltage regulator in there. Uh, this might be actually might actually be the problem. Voltage reg or maybe whatever that is, a resistor or what, yeah it's a resistor. Maybe that's faulty but he said there was something wrong with it but suspected the uh, one-way clutch of being faulty. And the one-way clutch must be for when you're engine braking or something, you don't have the inertia of the alternator continually trying to spin the engine over. Seems a little bit odd, but I don't know. Mercedes-Benz is known to do unnecessarily complicated things with the most simple of devices. <laughs> Alternators should really be just like that. Fixed fan, fixed shaft, that's it. No messing around. And that's an old Lucas one and it still works to this day. It's probably about 10 times older than this thing is. Not 10, but yeah, I'd say that alternator is probably about 20 years old, maybe 30 years old. This one here is not even, or oh, it looks like it's done about three days worth of work and then stopped. So go figure. Either way, I'm going to get it going again. Too good to throw out unless the rectifier pack or something's blown, but it looks spotless, there's no sooting, there's no flash marks from a burnout. It's capable of doing 110 amps at peak, so that's pretty good. Only thing is it's got a serpentine pulley on it instead of a V-belt. Damn it. I hate it when they do that, but I've got some serpentine pulleys I could adapt to one of my diesel engines. Uh, maybe even the Yanmar over there, which has a pissy little DC generator on it. Or, I don't know, I want to sell the Yanmar Marine diesel. Might even use a little Chinese clone diesel. Make a little 12 volt generator. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is spotless. This thing definitely hasn't been on a car up until now. It was probably taken off in 2001 for being faulty and just stored on the shelf. I'll have to find out what happened to this thing. Yeah. From a Mercedes Benz van anyway. And the brushes, yeah, they have no wear and tear on them. They still have these little lines going through them from factory so this thing this thing hasn't seen more than a few hours work no way anywho let's see how this video turns out if it even uploads if not i might have a problem thanks for watching